role does persuasion play in policy making? How does the public understand policy problems and administrative reforms, especially in today's complex world? And how can we develop critical and reflective skills in order to manage the various claims made about policy problems? Policy advocacy examines these questions through the lens of argumentation and persuasion. It departs from the observation that so much of what policymakers and public managers do occurs through language, whether preparing internal policy briefs, undertaking engagement with stakeholders, or communicating in meetings and committees. Being a policymaker or administrator requires the production of a lot of talk and text. Through learning from the great classicists like Aristotle, you will come to see that your words in policy making are actually of great importance. They play a role in actively constructing the policy problems you're required to address. And they are a site of contest between different actors, both inside and outside the administration. Aristotle has taught us that there are three aspects to making your ideas persuasive. Firstly, Ethos concerns the character of the speaker. It's the values that you present in order to obtain the trust from your audience. Secondly, there is pathos. This concerns the emotions you incite in order to show your audience that your solution really is the correct one. And thirdly, there is logos. This concerns the content of your argument and the type of rationality it demonstrates, such as the causes and effects that your solution will elicit. Besides providing tools for examining and preparing persuasion in your own work, the material in this course enables you to critically reflect upon the persuasive strategies of those around you. Ultimately, it's about observing and coming to understand the knowledge that characterizes your policy field. I hope I've persuaded you to join me in policy advocacy to examine the fascinating world of how policy language works.